Welcome to Medical Monday with Summit Medical Group. I'm Dr. Jed Cortler, Summit Medical Group Ear Specialist. It's warm weather time and swimming and playing in pools, lakes, and the ocean are popular ways to enjoy the summer. However, if you, your child, or teen is spending a lot of time in the water, you all may be at greater risk for developing an uncomfortable but common ear condition, swimmer's ear. Swimmer's ear is an infection of the ear canal. The ear canal goes from our outer ear up to our eardrum. We have to sort of distinguish between outer ear and middle ear types of infections. People often confuse the two. The three most common things that lead to ear canal infections are moisture, trauma, something that we do to our ear, a Q-tip in the ear, a bobby pin in the ear, that itch we just have to scratch somehow, uh, our, our fingernail where we somehow injure the skin, and then temperature. The main symptom of swimmer's ear is pain. The skin is very easily injured and there are a lot of nerve endings in there that lead to that pain. The other things that occur in swimmer's ear is swelling of the ear canal and then that is the thing that can lead to ear canal drainage, hearing loss, and sometimes some dizziness. But pain is far and away the main thing that you want to think about. If you've been swimming all day, if you've been pushing on your ear and it hurts, you need to see a doctor because without treatment, it usually doesn't go away on its own. Swimmer's ear can be prevented by controlling the two things that we can prevent, moisture and trauma to the ear canal. We can control moisture by mixing up our own home solution of clear vinegar and alcohol and putting a drop or two in after we swim. Now the important thing is don't put this into your ear if you have a hole in your eardrum or tubes in your ear because it'll burn. Or there are similar over-the-counter products if you're not into home chemistry mixing up your own alcohol and vinegar solutions. The mainstay of treating swimmer's ear is cleaning out the ear canal and placing antibiotic drops. You don't need an oral antibiotic. One of the most important things to not do when you have swimmer's ear is to traumatize the ear. So don't pick up a Q-tip when you have that itchy feeling and stick it into the ear and try scratching because all you're going to do is create more swelling and more pain. This has been your Medical Monday with Summit Medical Group. Thanks for watching. Summit Medical Group is here to help you live well and stay well. Yeah.